Salutations, everyone. It's your friendly businessman, Hazama. Yes, yes, let me get straight to the point. I'll be fast with this sudden greetings, as fast as low-tier god running away from criticism. You're wondering why it took so long to upload season two of Ragna Retarded Shenanigans. Well, Kofisama has been very occupied with these outside of the web. It's nothing too serious, thankfully. He's unable to use his actual voice to make this sudden statement. Why? It's due to his mic not being good enough for his gaming PC. So while Kofisama was away, a lot of things were happening, such as Genshin entire Fontaine patch being leaked by some individual. No worries, I won't post any photos of said leaks. Don't want Hoyoverse to strike this video. I am aware how trigger happy they are false flagging. The leaker behind it made a good point about the community, the company, and the leakers. Long story short, they're a bunch of idiots. You can find less popular gacha games that process better security compared to Hoyoverse. That prevents users from leaking the game on a weekly basis. I have to say, a lot of those leakers are only doing all of that leaking for Twitter clout. As a reminder, Twitter clout doesn't pay the bills. The community is filled with children who can't read to save their own lives and many questionable adults. I won't comment on that subject. Creepy. As for the community, I find it odd a company that generated a billion dollars off of Genshin can't use their money to install better security or add more restrictions to their closed betas. Incompetent company indeed. I am only stating my own critique. This isn't Kofisama opinion, but my very own. Second topic. Tower of Fantasy coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. While there isn't a problem with expending your game to different platforms, the problem is they're forcing people to spend money on their game which is a known free-to-play gotcha. Let me repeat myself. Tower of Fantasy is a free-to-play gotcha. They just want money. Pardon my language. I'm not too sure on how they managed to fuck that up, especially since the game is confirmed to not have cross-save or not being cross-play with mobile and PC. Genshin did it better in this category. Hoyoverse didn't force players to pay for the game. If you have PlayStation Plus, they award you with goodies, which is quite helpful for those who are starting the game. With that being said, that's all I am going to say in regard of this topic. And by the way, yes, Genshin is cross-play and has cross-save. And the last topic. There was a controversy happening in the Fate Grand Order community, more specifically in the JP side. They recently released a trailer for their latest story. They showed a character in a section of the video. What's the problem here? Well, a lot of people begin criticizing the art. It looks incredibly odd then talk about it being assisted by ai begin to spread like wildfire while people begin to talk more about it a known figurehead of the community ex naya decided to voice his own opinion in regard to the matter his take came off rather aggressive with a side of salt is it an l take on his behalf well i am not knowledgeable about ai assisted images never did my own research on the matter in my personal opinion, I am fine with people having their own voice on the matter. As for him, it came off pretty childish. Not too sure why I make a post about it. There's a thing called ignoring, but it gets better. I want to make it very clear before I proceed. This isn't some weird expose section. This is to poke fun at dumb moments. This is one of them. Anyway, let's proceed. A personal friend of Coffee Sama made a comment on the matter. Absolute burning soul. Hi, burning soul. How are you feeling? I can see you in the premiere chat. Anyway, as mentioned, he made a comment underneath X Naya thread and, well, doesn't end so well. X Naya seemingly got offended by Mr. Absolute Burning Soul. Mr. Yosuke, mind reading the comment out loud for us, pretty please? How the hell did I end up here? Could sworn I was sitting at home watching Hololive stream. Read the post and I'll send you back home with a free SSR of your liking. All right, let's see. Burning Soul replied with, You gotta be very dumb to say this isn't AI generated. Look closely and you can tell that it's AI. Posted a link to some user showing how the image is AI assisted. Anyway, continuing. Look at this and tell me straight to my face that it isn't. Thank you for your services as for your SSR. What the fuck? Is that the incredibly busty woman from that Goddess of Victory game? Dude, do not ask! Anyway, take me back home. You don't want to make this any more awkward than it already is. You did say, I can get a free SSR. All right, say less, my apologies. Before anyone asks, Volume is a literal babe. Look at her and tell me, you won't let her sit on your face. Well then, at first I thought he was gay. Anywho, ignoring what just occurred. Ex Naya didn't like Burning Soul message and decided to gaslight by posting his comment on his community tab. He said, sure, by the way, this is the same detector used by the Twitter account saying these frames are AI generated, which probably started this whole thing in the first place. 
in my deepest opinion. Dude, can you hurry the fuck up? We are five minutes in this video and you're wasting it on bullshit like drama from like three days to a week ago. Who cares? Old news. Hurry up so we can see Ragna get trolled by strangers. My deepest apologies, you all. I will fasten this segment. Anyway, ex Naya should have just ignored the... I'll be taking over from here. Hello. I am no one important for now. In conclusion to this situation, in regards to a Lolicon YouTuber getting so out of shape by a user with no audience, he should learn to how to not act like a spoiled child. What do we expect from individuals who spends all day simping for fictional children and only playing a gotcha game that has a pacing problem, with six minutes being wasted by that odd gentleman who has cat allergies? I shall use my abilities and influences to extend this video. Our apologies. You can't send a naive fool to complete the most simplest of tasks. Enjoy this strange meme of a video. You know, I'm actually starting to get really bored here. Sitting around at home, gaming with friends. It does get fun and all, but after a while, it gets repetitive. Guess I will go outside, head to the beach or something. You know, get some fresh air. Where you're heading off to? Sup, Hazama. To the beach. Get some fresh air or so. Gonna take a break from gaming for today. Why not head to the gym? I remember hearing you rambling to our friend in game chat about going to one later on whenever you find time. All right then, game with you later, I suppose. Take care, Ragna. Be sure to leave a voicemail when you're heading back. Let's see, maybe I should hit the dumbbells. Guess I will start with the basic stuff. You shouldn't be using that weight in my honest opinion. Think of it as me, looking out for a fellow trainer. Making a small mistake at a public gym won't end well. Actually, let me help you with that. Is that who I think that is? You can say, I do have a lot of influence here. Not to brag or anything. I am the reason on why no one is allowed to record or live stream here. There's a lot of degenerates who love seeing women such as yourselves working out. Of course, he's chatting away with the women. I'm sure the one on the left may be under the legal age. Yeah, this isn't going to end well for me. Maybe I should just head home and play another gotcha. I heard that Brown Dust 2 game interesting, but the game has horrible frame rate and love to crash. Young warrior, you should stop doubting your abilities. The hell? Who's speaking? I am simply another civilian who goes to this gym whenever I find time. I have been watching you doubting yourself. I must have been speaking that loud. Anyway, I am totally fine. But if you wish to waste time... Calm yourself, boy. Treat this as a learning experience. I sense potential within you. Since you consent to this, I shall present you with a trail of many challenges. One that shall exercise both. Strength, mental, soul, courage. These won't be easy. I am very confident to say you can handle it. You have been through much. I can tell just by looking at you. On the topic, I can tell you have also been through a lot. The way you approach this discussion and your choice with words. I wouldn't be surprised if you are a divine principle or something along the lines. Let's begin. We will start off with exercising your strength. Later. This is going strangely well. Didn't expect this to be a good learning experience. Learning a whole lot from this. I do thank you. However, this is only the very, very beginning of your training. Are you prepared to continue? Or do you wish to take a short break? Sure, I have a lot of time on my hands. Let's keep going. I didn't expect to find you here. Especially at a public place like this. Ah, shit. This isn't going to end well. Calm yourself, boy. Use what you have learned. I believe in your abilities. All right. You're the lady from about a month ago, if I am correct. I want to be clear. I am not some degenerate who likes to hang out with children. In fact, I was actually invited by that weird vampire to hang out with her. Believe it or not, she doesn't have any friends. Her shitty attitude is the reason behind it. Since. Interesting. Interesting indeed. The vampire herself is older than me. You're probably asking me, why? Well, I am a fairly good person. I won't sugarcoat it. I do have a weird history with hanging around the rabbit. She's not that well liked by people that I know. If you have personally met her, I get the feeling that you wouldn't take kindly to her smart mouth attitude. If you do have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. I wasn't aware of any of this information. In actuality, I saw you speaking with this gentleman here. Good afternoon, young lady. Also, my superior did confirm to me that you were falsely accused of being a, as they say, another EDP 445. I don't understand the name itself, but I do apologize for my actions during our first meeting. I didn't expect this to actually happen. I was planning on running away since you are an officer. Actually, that would look totally bad on my part. Running from an officer. A revealing one at that. I do wish to extend my apology by offering a gift. 
I hope it isn't too much. Do you have any preference? In terms of what kind of meal you enjoy? If it makes you that happy, sure. How about the next time we meet? Right now, feeling a bit exhausted with my training. Very well. I shall hand you my personal cell phone number. Pardon me? Did I hear that correctly? Five minutes later. I would like to extend my apology for the... well... You did well, boy. You shouldn't be apologizing to me. You have done incredibly well at defending your pride as a man. You didn't run away and coward. You challenged your anxiety and self-doubts and became the victor. I wouldn't call it anxiety. More on the line of being called another Seth the Programmer. Anyway, thanks for everything. Seth the Programmer. The boy who makes those power scaling videos on that YouTube website. Correct. The rabbit hole for that degenerate is... I would not say. Goku simps turn out to be incredibly odd people. The man couldn't accept that Alien X can no diff Goku. Seems like a skill issue to me. Anyway, I shall depart. Next training session will be within a few days from today. Take care of yourself, boy. See you later, Kratos. Alright, let's see what's happening with you two. I do remember there being a death battle. Something about Misaka Mikoto going against that Kilua kid. Very positive. Misaka no diff him. They should have used Kid Sasuke during early Chunin exams or after his battle with that Haku fellow. End of part one. Kid Sasuke will be overkill. Just my opinion. Meanwhile... He's going to enjoy what he finds in his bedroom. Yes, indeed. I hope you keep your end of the bargain. Right, Miss Alicard? Yes, indeed. Can't wait to witness the outcome. This will be quite interesting to observe. I shall keep my distance for the time being. Looks like we have a certain bug trying to force themselves into this wonderful play of ours. Well then, I shall personally get rid of it myself. Meanwhile... You two seriously need to go fuck off or something. Why do you two consist on stalking me on an unhealthy level? Let a man live his life for damn sake. I just made it back. Jesus. Is this what brother goes through with weird and social awkward women? Also, as my favorite content creator Long Beach Griffey would say, Shut the fuck up, Paimon! Don't you fucking dare start speaking! You talk too fucking much. So damn annoying. More annoying than a certain trash can I know personally back at home. That bitch.